All right, first open up a Euro USD chart, then select the 15 minute time frame. But keep in mind that you can use this strategy on any charts and any time frame. Once you've selected the chart and time frame, the first step is to add the indicator. So head over to the trading view indicator section and in the search bar, type in 5 MSM Vishnu and add this indicator to your strategy. This indicator serves as the main signal generator for the strategy, producing buy and sell signals. After adding the indicator to your chart, it's time to optimize it for use in this strategy. So to do that, click the setting icon next to the indicator name to open the indicator settings window. Now go to the style and disable all options except for buy and sell. Then keep the input on the default settings. Now that you've made these changes, you can trade based on the signals the indicator generates. But one of the most important things for consistent profit is trading in the direction of the trend. So when this indicator occasionally gives counter trend signal, you'll want to use two additional indicators to help confirm an overall powerful strategy that works in all market conditions. But before adding these additional indicators, I'd like to tell you about the free copy trading platform we just started. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just getting started, I can promise you we've created a genuinely effective and profitable scalping strategy along with solid risk management. Any of you are interested in trying out this free service, just click the link in the description below this video and sign up. It's that easy peasy. Alright guys, next let's add our second indicator to filter out the bad signal. In the indicator section, search for Lagir or Asai and add that indicator to your chart. Then head over to its settings and in the input section change the alpha value to 0.3. Next make the necessary style changes step by step like in the video. This indicator will help us identify signals that don't have the necessary potential to move the chart. For this purpose, we'll pay attention to buy signals that crosses the RSI 20 line offer and similarly for a sell signal to be confirmed. The RSI must cross below the 80 line. In essence, we're using the Legur RSI as an oscillator to filter out signals that go against the trend or momentum. In this example, the buy signal was issued by the first indicator. So by looking at the Legur RSI indicator, you can see that as the signal was issued, the RSI also crossed the 20 line offer. So the signal is confirmed and you can enter the trade. And if you notice the next two examples, a buy signal was issued by the Legur RSI did not confirm that signal. Afterward, the chart didn't have an uptrend, so the filter worked great there. Also in the next example, a sell signal was issued and after that, the RSI indicator confirmed that signal. So you can enter the sell trade. By requiring signals to be confirmed by the Legur RSI indicator, we avoid many bad trades that would have resulted in loss. The indicator acts like a second set of eyes filtering out signals that lack strength and go against the overall trend. Alright guys, now it's time to add a suitable trend indicator that fits this strategy. For this purpose, we're gonna add the 10 and 1 different moving averages indicator to the chart. After adding the indicator, click the settings icon next to its name and in the input section, active MA1 and set the method to EMA period to 45 and choose a color. Then active MA2 and set the method to SMA period to 90 and choose a color. Then in the style section, you can customize the indicator's appearance as you'd like. 
By adding this indicator, you can assume an uptrend when the price is above both moving averages and assume a downtrend when the price is below both moving averages. Now with this knowledge, we can define precise rules for entering and exiting trades. So to enter a line trade, first a buy signal must be issued. Then the Laguerre RSI indicator must confirm the buy signal. And finally, using the 10 and 1 different moving averages indicator, we must make sure of an uptrend, meaning the candlesticks close above both moving averages. If so, we can enter the buy trade. For risk management, we should set the stop loss at the recent swing low. Then you can aim for 1 to 1.5 risk to reward ratio to secure some profits. And also, to get into a short trade, first and foremost, a sell signal must be generated by the 5 MSM Vishnu indicator. Once the sell signal appears, the Legur or the sign indicator must corroborate the signal by crossing below the 80 line, demonstrating that the momentum has turned negative. And finally, the 10 and 1 different moving averages needs to indicate a downtrending market condition, meaning the candlestick should close below both moving averages lines. If all three of these conditions are met, sell signal, confirmation by the Laguerre RSI and a downtrend as per the moving averages, then you can enter a short trade with confidence. And for risk management, set your stop loss at a logical price like the recent swing high. Then aim for at least 1 to 1.5 risk reward ratio for taking profits. If you're interested in finally making consistent profits from the forex market but don't know where to start, I highly recommend checking out this free copy trading platform. There is no risk or commitment. You can pull out your phones at any time.